commander of an operative group received an injury from a landmine explosion midday during search operations in Artsakh, Nagorno-Karabakh. Azerbaijani soldiers provided first aid on the spot, after which the search operations group transferred them to the Republican Medical Center in Stepanakert. He had undergone surgery. This is already the third such case recorded during search and rescue operations following the truce. A fire broke out in one of the hospital rooms in Ayerevan Hospital on Friday. Eleven patients were evacuated. According to the initial theory, a violation by a patient of the hospital safety procedure was registered as the fire broke out because of a cigarette. A doctor and this patient had been injured as a result of the fire. Armenian President Armen Sarkisian continues his visit to Georgia. The welcoming ceremony for Sarkisian was held Thursday with the honor guard at the official residence of the President of Georgia. Subsequently, a private conversation took place between Armen Sarkisian and Georgian President Salome Zorabishvili. Relations between Armenia and Georgia trace back to centuries, and Armenia attaches great importance to its relations and cooperation with neighboring Georgia, the Armenian president noted during the meeting with his Georgian counterpart. In the evening, an official dinner was served in honor of Armenia's president and his wife, Nunes Sarkisian. As of Friday morning, 961 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has now reached 207,103 in the country. Also, 18 more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making the respective total 3,835 cases. The number of people who have recovered over the past one day is 1,075 and the total respective number so far is 186,200. Armenian genocide survivor Ofsana Mirhanian has died at the age of 106. News AM had covered her story, which was part of the The Survivors series dedicated to the Armenian genocide perpetrated between 1915 and 1923 in Ottoman Turkey. Born in 1915 in Istanbul, Afsana Mirhanyan was raised by her grandparents. Her family members managed to save themselves because when the armed Turks had entered their house, they thought they had entered the house of a Kurdish family and left, after which the family settled in Aleppo, Syria. In 1965, Afsana Mirhanyan and her husband, Garabet, moved to Armenia. She had two sons and three daughters. 